Hi, this is Chris and today I want to explain to you the most common types of omnichannel services which are the low-end services, the high-end services and the front-end services. So let me start with an overview. This is an overview of a typical architecture uh, that deliver a multi-channel services experience to different clients. So at the top we have the different devices and on these devices are running a number of touch points which could be apps or webs and at the bottom you see there are a number of backend systems or legacy systems that deliver the, the core functionality and in the middle that's where you have the omnichannel services and, and the three different kinds that I will tell you about and the purpose of these omnichannel services is, of course, to deliver the functionality to all these touch points. So let me start with the low-end services. These are the services that access the backend systems with all their special implementations on service interfaces, data formats and um, security measures to access them, etc. And the purpose of the low-end service is to, to get that information out of the back-end system and then deliver it in a way that is common to all the services. So it should be according to a master data model or something. So if you're running a, a master data management initiative, uh, what's good with this model is that you can actually start implementing these low-end services to supply the other services with data in the right format, even if the backend systems are not yet conformed to that, to that model. So moving up, we come to the high-end services. These are the services that deliver functionality and data related to a certain domain, uh, which could be order handling or something. And they also usually implement the processes around that domain. The, the nice thing about these high-end services is that they can be implemented independent of who is going to consume their services. So usually they return all the attributes. So if you're asking for an order, for example, you, you get, I mean, all the delivery addresses, the client information, all the items on the order, the payment condition, everything. And this is also usually what comes out of a SOA initiative. So if you're building a service-oriented architecture, what you get is these high-end services. And then we come to the front-end services. These are the services that should supply all the touch points with exactly the information that they need. And that means when we're talking about apps, for example, that they need to be in the most efficient format like JSON and also that only the attributes that are needed in the user interface is returned from these services. And in difference with the high-end services is that building front-end services is something that happens at the same time as you're implementing the touch points. So it's not a good idea to try to implement the front-end services and think you're done with it before you start implementing the touch point. Rather, these two should be developed at the same time. So while you're building the touch points, you should be building the front-end services uh, also, which means that they can adapt to changing requirements, etc. Okay. And with that, I hope it has become a bit more clear about the most common types of services in an omni-channel services architecture. Thank you.